Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a pretty woman sketching her with graphite first and then adding some ink on grey toned paper. We begin by sketching the top of the head, then the jaw shape, a guiding line for the eyes and then we draw the features in a very simplified way like so, each being suggested by just a line or a simple shape. Then we can adjust and fine-tune. I make this just a little bit smaller. Let's draw the neck and the shoulders. When you draw the body, try to think how parts fit into and work in relation to the other parts. How they fit, integrate and move. Don't just draw an outline. But the flow of the muscles and bones and other parts and how they fit into each other. Of course, a basic study of anatomy is very helpful for this. Of artistic anatomy, I mean. You don't need to know how the liver works. <laughs> but we are very interested in the muscles, bones and tendons which are visible. Let's add her a bikini or a swimming suit, like so. And she will be in the water to above the knees. And we may add a veil, a hanging cloth. I invite you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ArtistLeonardo to see new creations and news. With a kneaded eraser we can lighten up the line a little bit as we will go over with this beautiful Kaweco fountain pen. I'll go over the existing line, also I may be doing some corrections or may modify the drawing slightly as we go. I'm using dark grey ink. The width of the nib is a medium, which becomes much thinner if we flip it around to the back, like so. The list with all the materials used is in the description below the video. I love drawing so much, I could do this all day. Try to make your lines fluid. Do not stop in the middle of the line. All right, very good. Now it's time to shade and we will do that with hatching and cross hatching. Of course, we do tighter lines and press more and may add lines in more directions on the places where we want it darker. At this point, we can erase the pencil lines so that the drawing looks cleaner. And now I will use another Kaweco pen, but this time with black ink to reinforce some of the darkest spots. I don't want to overuse this, I just want to make some accents to give more contrast to the drawing. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code to inks. And finally, let's add some highlights using a white pencil. We can do this because we drew on toned paper. Very good! Excellent! We give it the last touches and it's ready. 
If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.